All right, guys, so a couple months back, I did a really fun Q&A, answered a lot of your questions under the influence of way too much red wine. Now, in this Q&A, I'm gonna do something a lot more fun. I'm gonna answer random, bizarre, offensive questions in a different accent every question. All right, so in a hat, we put in different accents, and I've gotta answer a question with a different accent. So, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you're deeply, deeply offended and triggered by this video. All right, guys, what's up? Alex here, author of the book Master of the Day, so let's have some fun, all right? In this video, we've put together like 10 accents, different countries, also different parts of America, and I'm gonna answer some of your questions with an accent, so let's jump into it. Australian? Uh, first question is get, getting married already. Uh, no, I'm not, not, not getting married already. I'm like 31, but uh, uh, I'm waiting until I'm 37. All right, next accent, Western American. Guess what, that's myself. What eating plan do you follow? Anything specific from Henning Oliver. Olivier, Olivier. My eating plan is really simple. I eat basically Mediterranean, which means I have protein, fats, and carbs at almost every meal. So I don't remove any one food group. I cook at least two of the meals I eat per day, and it's that simple. I have a bunch of videos on what I've eaten before, so you can go check out those. Southern, Southern. America. How do you determine the importance of a goal and if you should or not pursue it? By Jera Kun. Well, the way I de determine the importance of a goal is by how big it's going to change my life. So if it's going to change my life in a big way and it's even it's something really obvious I got to focus on because I'm broke and I need money or I'm unhealthy and overweight and I need to be healthy and a health of weight, then that's what I focus on. But otherwise, I focus on goals that both excite me and are spi inspiring, Ex expiring, ins inspiring. So the very first thing to recap, goals that I need. If I need money, I really need to focus on that. If I need to get fit, I need to focus on that. If I need a better relationship, I need to focus on that. And then the second one is what's most inspiring. I hope that helps Jera Kun. Jamaican. What's one tip for dealing with negative mindsets that you think is stupid? You think, you think is stupid. I'm sounding like an Indian man. Thinking that you can just think it away is stupid because it's a problem. And so how the, how the expletive are you going to think it away? Vietnamese! What do the F stand for in your Instagram username? Alexander B. Hein? Yeah, Mr. Santanu. Obviously, stand for Alexander Mother B. You know what it stand for? Alexander F. With a F. F. Because I'm Vietnamese. Okay? British. Hi from the Dominican Republic, what is your first thought of the day? Lugiadza? Lug, lug. My first thought of the day is, um, usually if I have to poop, it's I've got to poop. But otherwise, it's, um, I've got to wake up. Even though I like my life, it kind of sucks having to wake up, just like every other human on earth. If it's not that I've got to take a poop, which usually it might be, now I'm sounding Australian. British Australian. If it's not that, it's, I've got a pretty long to-do list ahead of me. And then it's, when can I drink my tea and figuring out what the hell I'm doing in my life. And also, I tend to have weird dreams lately. I'm trying to figure out what bizarre stuff is going on in my subconscious. French. Ah, uh, d'accord. What do you think about polyphasic sleep to get more hours? Hours in a day? I think that uh, if it works for you, then it works for you. But uh, if it's a problem, then it's a problem. So, voila. Irish. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby currently is answering these questions with this shitty Irish accent. No, honestly, right now, my favorite hobby is sitting and drinking tea and reading books on Chinese medicine. Okay. Indian. How do you choose how many things to focus on at a time when it is too many? Medlife with Annie. Annie. Basically, what I do is I try to figure out what is the most important in my life right now. And currently, the most important is my health, so feeling good, and my medical school, and my business. So basically, if you have too many things going on, the most important thing is to figure out how to not have so many important things, basically. Chinese. What is the emo ultimate emotion you are looking to feel after the end of a long day? 
incognito mug. Ultimate emotion I'm looking to feel is uh, that I did all the thing I wanted to do every day. So if I do, <laughs> if I did today exactly what I want to do today, then I go to sleep and think today I did all the thing I want to do today. And if you think these are the thing I want to do today, after that, you go to sleep, no problem. No problem because you already do all the thing you want to do today. You know what I mean? Russian, are you feminist? And the bonus, what do you think of body positivity? I feel like I'm eating mashed potatoes while I'm trying to answer your question. So I think it's important to be positive about body all the time. But if you're also not healthy, you need to change too. That's, that's what I think. Western American, that's myself. What's my biggest fear? By Marwa... I can't pronounce your last name, I don't want to butcher it. My biggest fear, like genuinely, at my age, it's not like death or anything like that. Biggest fear is that I will have lived a life that's kind of unlived, that Thoreau talked about, all these philosophers, that people live, what is that famous Mark Twain quote? People live like 80 or 100 years, but they die at 20 or 25. And it's this idea that we're alive, but we're only existing. Like, not that many people live exciting, inspired lives doing what they love. So my biggest fear day to day is that I will be the same person every year. So that's why I'm almost violently into personal growth. And like it's almost tied to the feeling of tension or even anxiety for me where it's like I, I've been the same person for a month. What am I doing to upgrade? So I have like a compulsion where I always have to be upgrading. British. If someone's bogged down by a whole bunch of family responsibility, I'm apparently a draw butler now. How? How? How can they achieve their own goals? If you've got a lot of, of uh, family responsibility, I need more details here, Ram Shazayas. Because basically, you've got your family and you've got your things you've got to do for your own life. You've got the things that expire you. Expire, ex inspire you. Basically, what I'm saying is you've got to find your own way. That's it. I can't give you an answer. You've got to figure it out. French. How do I get more passion for something? You are my only inspiration, BTW. How do you get more passion? You do something you are passionate about. Okay? You can't, I don't think you can get more passion unless you change your mindset. But my philosophy is instead of getting passion, do things that elicit the passion out of your body. D'accord? Vietnamese. Sorry, Suelen Duart. How can I discover my purpose in life? The way you discover your purpose in life is you try a whole shitload of thing, okay? You have to try so many things. When I was 22, 22, I wanted to find my passion so bad, but I didn't know what to do and how to find. <laughs> but I do know that it's a process of constant try new thing, okay? If you don't know what you like, what your passion is, you don't think, you do. You put together a list, 15 things you want to try. You try that, you eat some pho, eat pho, drink coffee. You try 15 idea, every single idea. One idea per month, one year, you try 12 idea, okay? Try thing, don't guess. India. Javera SK says, What was your dream job as a kid? My dream job as a kid is basically what I'm doing now. As a kid, I always dreamed that I would apprentice with a holy man or some kind of sage who would show me how to make medicinal potions, teach me medicine, meditation, teach me how to shoot lasers out of my eyes. And then from there, basically, that was my dream job. The dream job I always wanted was essentially to do what I'm doing now. Southern. All right, Kashish Dugao. How to increase concentration, stay more focused in my studies. First thing is if you talk like this, you're gonna think slower, you're gonna move slower, you're gonna speak slower, and then you're gonna remember more. So, how to increase concentration, stay more focused. First thing, there's only three real habits you need. Focus on what's most important material. You can figure that out on your own. The second thing is you're studying tactics or techniques, which is basically study shorter periods, be full, full engagement when you're studying. Use the Pomodoro technique. And basically the third thing is something you may not like, which is study shit you actually like. What's your favorite breakfast in Italy? Tif Tiffany? Murberry. Tif Tiffany Murberry. Uh, favorite breakfast? Italians, all these Europeans, all they eat is goddamn bread. 
bread on bread. So eat the bread with jam and butter and espresso. Australian. I think we're going to take it home with the Australian. Australian, and by that I mean very confused Scottish, Irish, Australian, British. Some fusion hybrid animal. Animal? Animal. Yeah, that's Australian. What are some, some of your favorite podcasts? Some of my favorite podcasts, honestly, right now I'm only listening to Oprah. 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 Super Soul Conversations. All right, back to Indian again. Which hobby are you currently working on? Sush, Sushmi 3. My current hobbies are salsa dancing with her, uh, drinking tea, wasting time in general, sleeping, um, playing Skyrim, exploring the cosmos. Do you have a role model or mentor? My Beckett. Uh, honestly, I have lots of role models and mentors, but uh, right now, my most of my mentors are all medical, so they're my professors and people I connect with like that. Can you speak with an Indonesian accent? Tia si aku mamakan. I'm hungry! World of Geek Pandas. What are your top five books for personal development and why? I'm still talking in an Indian accent, so my top five personal development books are probably be The Alchemist to train you to follow your intuition. The Slight Edge, which you'll see is very close to my book about the tiny little things you do every day to get your ideal existence. Anything by Earl Nightingale. So, Lead the Field. The Essence of Success. I don't know, I have to think. I'm too goddamn hungry after recording this for 20 minutes. Think and Go Rich. That's another good one. Why? I'm gonna have to go into that in another video because I've been talking with an Indian accent for like 12 minutes at this point. Alright. Now that I feel like I have 12 alter egos, I'm not really sure who's who. <clears throat> now that you guys know how I really am off screen, much weirder. I hope that helps <laughs> answer some of your questions. You probably got no answers whatsoever. But before you go, I want you to leave some more comments, questions for me there below. I'll answer it in the next Q&A. We can do it with more accents and you can suggest some and then I'll do the ones you guys suggest, all right? Hope that helps. Best way to stay in touch, get the free personal development weight loss challenge, modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. Grab the last two videos right here and right here. I'll catch you guys soon.